agree. All right, we're going to stick with Chris Paul, though, because congratulations are in order. He is now a college graduate. So he attended Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem from 2003 to 2005, and then he enrolled at Winston-Salem State University to fulfill his promise he made to his parents to graduate. Anscape's Mark Spears documented the future Hall of Famer's graduation journey. Sun snapped the five game losing streak, 111 to 95. Chris Paul, the graduate who will be heading to North Carolina to get his degree. I'm excited to be going back home to Winston Salem. You know, my family with me, my wife, my kids, my parents, my brother. Chris Paul had less than 10 hours following the Suns' December 15th road win versus the Clippers to make it from LA to his graduation in Winston Salem, North Carolina. He hopped on a private jet with his family to make his college graduation ceremony from a historically black university. To do this and to be able to do this here at home and to walk and to talk to these students today uh, during the whole process is something I'll never forget. Put my, uh, put my cap and gown on right now, huh? Yeah. Uh. Graduation for about 350 students was in a small hockey arena, about 15 minutes away from where the Winston-Salem native grew up. I did not know you was graduating. <laughs> man. You made me feel like an old man. What is what he told? I don't need sports bet, man. Just ask me how many points I'm gonna score next how game. How many points you gonna score? You... We welcome you to the commencement ceremony for Winston-Salem State. CP3 had about 75 proud family members in attendance several of who helped him along the challenging way as an NBA player and during his stint as president of the Players Association. Christopher E. Paul. Congratulations, baby. Thank you, mama. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. It's cool because I've never really, I've never gone to a college graduation, so I think it was cool to see the first person go with my, my dad. And his mom helped out. His mom was always like, don't forget you had this assignment. Dude, his mom like, kept check checking his portal. So it was cool to see how everybody kind of came together to make it happen. Look like you had fun, man. And I had a great time. I had a great time. I'll never forget Vince Carter graduating from Carolina. I remember seeing that. Uh, I was in high school at the time. And I was like, hold on, it's a playoff, it's the playoffs. And Vince Carter went back and graduated, and then he went back for a game. And so for me, that has stuck with me. I, I'm sure Vince don't even know that I've seen that, but it's something that stuck with me my whole life. And I always said, if ever given the opportunity and the days match up, I want to walk. Ultimately, you decided to finish your degree at the HBCU, Winston-Salem State. Tell me about your decision to do that. One of my little cousins graduated, and I remember being at his graduation, and I was like, man, I've been around these HBCUs my whole life and didn't know that they underfunded and they not getting this and they not getting that. I looked at myself. I was like, how can I help? And on the journey of trying to amplify HBCUs, it was like, well, it's time for me to get my degree. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.